Schools, elementary and high schools, but SUNY Oswego, they were scheduled to be open. Just got word SUNY Oswego is closed for today. Here's how much snow we're going to be shoveling. A little schedule breaking it down. Additional snow this morning in Onondaga County, three to four inches. Now, there'll be some spots to the southwest that only get an inch or two. There'll be some spots north and east of Onondaga County that'll pick up four to eight inches of additional snow, mostly this morning. I think in the afternoon it's lighter. There could even be a break of sun for some late in the day. A trace to an inch or two, a trace to an inch this evening with it lingering in lighter snows as we go into tomorrow. If you're going to the crunch and scheme this evening. Roads will be much improved. The parking lot should be cleaned up. There'll still be a chance for some flurries and snow showers, especially for the walk back, but mostly dry for the walk in 22 17. The walk back and the winds will be lighter after some wind today as well. Pretty harsh wintry conditions. This low pressure system cranking up just spewing tons of snow our way very early today. It's going to be hard hitting a uh, half inch to an inch per hour at times for a very shallow window. We may have it coming down whiteouts. OK, but it's already breaking up over western New York, western Pennsylvania. The low goes just to our south and we begin to get towards mid morning periods where it's very light snow. I don't know if it completely shuts down. That's probably not going to happen until this wraparound moves on through. That's going to slide into Onondaga County, especially in points north, but it's only light to moderate snow versus the heavy snow we have now through the next hour, maybe two hours further to the east and northeast. Then some drier air with some minor lake effect coming in behind it, and that's going to be cold for tonight. Definitely tell it's February and winter. Winter break, it's called for a reason for the kids, right? There's the heavier snow here by 9 a.m. north and northeast of Onondaga County. We've got some lighter snow now, and it's very light down to the south. There also is going to be some sleet mixing in at times south and southwest of Onondaga County this morning. That is pure snow, but it's becoming lighter tapering off actually to the west. Still solid moderate snow here. Just a scattered flurry or two to the end of the day. Maybe a break of sun to the north with temperatures getting up to near 30 degrees. 29 my forecast at high midday. That'll help the roads definitely improve by the evening commute. As we go through tonight, they could still be slushy and slippery in spots. South southeast of the lake. We've got some lake effect snow showers and flurries that move southeast of the lake and eventually tomorrow up towards Jefferson County. So it's a little bit brighter midday and afternoon, but still chilly. Additional snow from here on out three to six inches for most. There'll be six to nine inches in the white there, one to three inches and even less in southern Schuyler County. So your forecast for today, either snow or a mix to the south and southwest tapering this afternoon. Peak of sun possible 29. It turns breezy and colder late day 29 for tomorrow with morning snow showers. The last longer in northern Oswego County, but it'll be quiet for the SU Duke game. 34 degrees on Sunday, not as cold, but new snow showers. And in fact, there'll be some heavier lake effect snow in the morning and midday east of Lake Ontario than colder on Monday. Melanie.